Match Day 34, Ridge County 2, Seoul City 0. Jazz United 1, Tellius Rivers 1. Parkley Rivers 3, Viridian Forest 0. Hyrule Wanderers 1, Oakville Wanderers 1. Sparta United 2, Mute City 0. Raccoon City 3, Balstone Albion 0. Canlave City 2, Rifton United 2. Dawnstar United 1, Casardis Town 1. Seacrest County 1, Castle Villa 0. Pallet Town 3, Port Town 0. So we are champions, um, apparently, after 34 games, having conceded 9 and scored 42, and a lot of 65th minute matches where, you know, like I said, we didn't play the football that I wanted to because the game doesn't let you. You know, so all you can do is show show what it is, and it is just broken. And top to bottom, inside that is broken. But apparently, we're champions, so you know, yay, we won the title again. Um, when I first started doing this league, I did it on top player, and when I first started doing it, I was really hoping that it would go back to the bit where you could, you know, attach the PU League to something. But with the inclusion of the championship teams in the Premier League, um, you can no longer do that. PES should have a structure where you can make a couple of leagues, you can make make them, and put teams in and you can edit those teams and you can attach them to two of the leagues so you can have a four tier structure that's what it should do why it doesn't i don't know i do not believe pez 2017 has it and i've been saying this for i don't know how long now in the pu this pu league the teams aren't improving they're not improving we're playing against shit teams, season in and season out. This is season four. And the only reason it's going at a poddling pace and we're not in season gazillion by now is because I don't, you know, I can show 15 minutes of footage at a time. I get to show about a match. So I show a match and then I show the results. I used to show the results on the same day of the match, but people were only watching the results and not the match. And when you're like me and you're trying to show Pez and how it plays and how it feels as a games player, you know, and that's why objectivity doesn't always come into it. Because as a games player, when you want to win, you're not always objective. So I'm showing it from a perspective of I'm playing this game and I want to win. What the hell has happened there? Let's have a look, shall we? When we actually get into the objectivity, we can see that Pez is completely broken. But being objective at looking at the league, there's only one league in the PEU league. Why can't I make up three more? Why can't I attach leagues together to make a four-tier structure? That's objectivity. Why don't the other teams have a purpose and a structure instead of buying and say, selling players willy-nilly and swapping managers as, as often as their undies? Do you know what I mean? Why don't they actually, they actually have a plan? Why is it not deep enough? I mean, there is no football essence to Pez's league structures at all. There is no football essence to their managers. Go look at championship manager. You know, football manager, they call it nowadays, don't they? You know, Sega and that. Go, go look at that one that they do for the PC. You know, can, you know, can we not have something like that in pairs? Well, it doesn't bother me because I'm not buying it, buying it again because it's a piece of shit, isn't it? But you understand the point. If it was going to be a good one, if it was going to actually bother. But this is my point. It's not even half-assed. It's, you know, you can smell it. You can see it a mile away. All it is is taking football and using that as a vehicle to get cash from. People like football. It's the world's most popular sport. You know, and it makes a lot of money for a lot of people. And a lot of people enjoy it, you know. Um, 
And they, they've taken football and translated, you know, a vehicle to get cash out of, which is PES. And I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a proper football game, because it isn't. It just takes football, you know, here's something that people like, here you go. And it's not even half ass. They haven't even bothered properly with it. Um, but I'll get I'll get into that later. This is a report on the development of your players. It's a sad fact, but a good player is bound to get fouled a lot. J.L. Sierra is often marked really tightly and aggressively, but now he's working on making sure he's awarded a foul in those situations. 19,526,460 Paul Armands in the kitty. Team news for Pallet Town away. Pallet Town obviously Pokemon. And teamwork stat for what it's worth for them, 95. Teamwork stat for what it's worth for mine, 97. <laughs> Condition and stamina. Hey, my players have full stamina again. How long did that take? If we'd have been Real Madrid, it'd have been that straight away. Eh? But any anyway, um, they don't look to have a very good goalkeeper, do they? But you know that for this division, I have to say, from the midfield up front, for what's on their team, that is, you know, well, I mean, even if you look at the defence there, I'd say they're an above average side for this division. And that's saying something. Do you know what I mean? Right. So decent form. No blue arrows. No purple arrows. No red arrows really up for the game either. But, you know, just average form and, you know, slightly up for the game. So I should have a decent squad to pick from. You know, I should be able to play, you know, a good, good strong squad for that and hope it doesn't cheat. But it's paired so it will. Um, that wraps up the team news there. So until next time, take care.